Monday Night Football, anyone? Well, that's what we have with Glenn Allen and Godwin. This game was supposed to be played on Friday night at Glenn Allen. They had a sinkhole at the 20-yard line. All is good, all is fixed, but Hermitage was nice. They said, you can use our field on Monday night. Why not have Monday Night Football for high school sports? Number three, defensively on uh, Glenn Allen. Great stop right there. First quarter full of defense. That was Patrick Carey on the stop in the defensive line. Gets it going. This is third down. The uh, pitch to the right, not working wonders. Number 12 on the stop. Glenn Allen's defense was in good shape. Godwin would have good fortune, though. This ball bounces off of Glenn Allen. A uh, special teams player was trying to block or, you know, catch the punt. It goes as a muff punt. Godwin returns it for a touchdown, although in high school football, when a team recovers a muff punt, it, it, that's where the play is blown dead. Still, Godwin connects on this field goal, and uh, it would be 3 nothing, Eagles as Carter Morris did the honors on a 38-yard attempt. And then Godwin, tricky, tricky, Eagles, onside kick, they recover, and then they try to get it going on offense. But, uh, yeah, he was looking to throw that football. Number 12, Logan Rhodes going nowhere. More Glen Allen defense. This is intercepted. Andrew Warsham playing linebacker. He's going to take it all the way back. Glen Allen with a pick six of immense proportions in the second quarter. They would have the lead, but wait, hold on, folks. We got a flag. The interception would stand, so they would get the turnover, but holding was called. No problem with Jordan Greenhow and Howe dialing long distance. He's got a man. It's caught, and it goes for a long 65-yard touchdown pass. Logan Stubbs, I believe, on the recovery. Glenn Allen does indeed take advantage of the turnover, and it's 7-3. Glenn Allen with 2.35 to go in the first half. More defense. Jags were stout in this one. Andrew Worsham with the stop. Then turned it around. Glenn Allen on offense. Number 24 with a catch, Andrew Morse. This quarterback is only a sophomore, but he's got himself an arm, and he's a big dude. He can run, too. Jordan Brown goes downtown to Dominic Dutton. It ain't nothing. Touchdown, Jags. And they widen their lead in the second quarter just before the end of the half at 14-3. Third quarter action, here comes the sophomore QB again. Jordan Brown, big gain, about 15 yards, equaling his jersey number, that's good for a first down. Then Brown, what can he do for you? Well, he can pass and complete it to Andrew Morris. Deep in the Eagle territory, inside the 20 to about the 15 yard line, it would lead to this. Jags, looking for more. This time they got Jordan Greenhow in at running back. He finds Pater, touchdown Greenhow, and here comes a little dance. Probably does it a lot better than me. Greenhow, Glenn Allen, up 21 to three, looking to move to three and two on the year. To keep Godwin, Godwin winless on the year. Eagles had their moments, so check out the D-line. They got all the way back to the quarterback. They sack Brown there. More defense later for the Eagles. They got some playmakers on the defensive side of the ball for sure. That's intercepted by Justin Harris. He actually played pretty well on Monday Night Football. But Jags would have more answers on the offensive end late in the game. Dominic Dutton, it ain't nothing. Well, it is like a 25-yard gain for a first down. That would lead to this one more time. Brown going to go downtown. Firing right side, got his man. And it's number four for the touchdown, Dominic Staples. And he cements. Glenn Allen's win. Jags would add a safety on the ensuing possession and one more touchdown really late in the fourth quarter. But Glenn Allen gets the win. 38-3 is your final.